the entire 2019 season was about proving the doubters wrong. Yeah. He were a three-star, Joe Burrow was a transfer, mm -hmm. and everyone knows the story about Coach Joe. So where do you find motivation once again as you prepare to go to the NFL? I feel like, uh, you know, in going to this next next level, you know, there was a lot of people that thought I should come back to school and thought I was you know, not going to be good enough for this next level. So I try to just think about that, you know, as I'm working out and if I get drafted higher than people expect me to, to go, and they're gonna be saying, oh, he's gonna be a bust, or, you know, just, he wasn't, it's not worth it. But, you know, at the same time, I get drafted low, I'm, you know, I was gonna have that chip on my shoulder that, you know, a lot of people passed up on me, and I just wanted to, want, just gonna wanna prove them wrong. What do you think about your own story as a whole, and how do you think it can help some recruits that are looking to still get onto rosters or don't have the highest recruiting ranking? And my story has been, has been great, and hopefully, uh, you know, for the future, if guys you know are, are in the, the position that I was with, you know, not having, not being a big time guy, not having all the stars, uh, it, none of that really matters. Just come in wherever you go. It, all, all that matters is what happens when you step on campus and the work you put in. With so much talent departing from LSU mm -hmm. already this year, how do you think the Tigers are going to do next season? I, th I think they're going to be great. They have a lot of a lot of talent coming back. Uh, even though a lot of us left, especially in the old line room. We still got Ed Ingram, Austin Deculus, uh, Derek Rosenthal, uh, and Chase Hines are stepping up at center. So uh, it's going to be a great group, a great offense going to be explosive once again. Uh, their defense, their defense line is going to be a beast. So, uh, and obviously we know about the DBs every year, they, they're going to you know, keep stepping up. So I think they have a great chance to do do some great things again. As now a former number 18, who do you think is worthy to wear that jersey next season? A few guys, a few guys. Uh, as Jacoby Stevens you know, going to his senior year, and a guy who, who's uh, stepped up big time for us. Uh, we got Terrace Marshall, overcame injury last year. Uh, very quiet, humble guy. And we also got Todd Harris. Uh, who's gonna, I think he's gonna have a great year as well, who's coming off an injury, uh, always treating people you know, we respect around the building, so those three guys are, are very good candidates for the, to wear their number. How has the draft process been for you, and how different has it been compared to what you might have been expecting due mm -hmm. to the coronavirus? Yeah, it's been a lot different uh, before everything with the corona went on. Uh, I was planning on going to, to some visits to uh, some facilities, uh, the Broncos, 49ers, uh, but everything got canceled, so basically i uh, just been working out in the mornings trying to stay active, and then afternoons, uh, teams would hit me up uh, doing FaceTime, Zoom meetings, uh, just basically doing everything online. Now. How much do you think that has impacted what you could do in person compared to what you're limited to doing right now? Now, I mean, it's basically just, you know, just watching film, just showing off my knowledge of the game and uh, what type of person I am, just trying to explain myself. And that would be the same thing I would be doing if, you know, if I was there with them in person. We had spoken a little bit at Senior Day during mm -hmm. the Senior Bowl media days. How did that entire process and your time in Mobile help you with the NFL draft process? It, it helped me a lot. Uh, that was a huge week for me. Uh, kind of opened some eyes. Uh, people, a lot of people you know, prior to the, that week uh, were surprised at me you know, declaring for the draft. Thought I was going to come back. Uh, great opportunity for me to go and, like I said, open some eyes and, and you know, show, show teams what I can do. Covering LSU football for your Go Nation, I'm Jared Joseph.